Human beings, while capable of wars, are also capable of rising above themselves, choosing again what is good, and making a new start. These words from Pope Francis in his encyclical letter, Laudato Si, exemplify the choices I made and continue to make as an ordinary fisherman to dauntlessly see riches from ridges to reef and thereby choose to rise, to choose what is good and to choose to make a new start. By God's grace, standing before you at this moment, remind me of these humble choices that yielded fruits and even earned international recognition. Her Excellency Maria Lunar uh, Robredo, Vice President of the Republic of the Philippines, the Board of Trustees of the Ramon Magsaysay Award Foundation, members of the Magsaysay family, represented by Senator John Magsaysay, and Mrs. Mila Magsaysay, Valenzuela. Members of the Diplomatic Corps, Philippine government, officials, including Governor Walter Yap Palma of Sambuanga, Sibugay, and Mayor Katrina Balladares, my ever-supportive and proud company from Sambuanga Peninsula, including Mrs. Miladel Escapitania, our fellow fisher folk in the Philippines and across Asia, ladies and gentlemen. I am profoundly honored and pleased to be chosen as one of the awardees of the most prestigious award in Asia. In honor of the legacy of the late President Ramon Magsaysay, never in my wildest dreams, I did, I think I will be counted among the array of great community leaders to become recognized by the Foundation. As a simple fisherman, I only have one desire for the community that makes me do what I have been doing. To offer myself to self-provide better environment, sustainable livelihood, and empowered community to realize our vision and mission in life. That is, to have three eight agahan, hapunan, tanghalian, or three eight. In English, three eight. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So three eight. If we have three eight or three meals in a day, I believe we would be content. But more than this, I see a hunger that not even three full meals could satisfy. Day after day, I see the need to, to strive for progress, to live harmonious life fulfilled by a sustainable and equitable coexistence in the coastal vicinities of Sambuanga, Sibugay. This has always been our aspiration as municipal fisher folk together with our government and other stakeholders in preparation for a better and productive environment for the next generations. Because of this award, I am exceedingly grateful and hopeful that this platform could be a great mechanism 
to help our poor fisher folk sector attain more leverage to sustainably manage our coastal resources. Through this stage, I am advocating my, my fellow fisher folk in the entire archipelago that this initiative will be not stopped with this award, but will serve as a vehicle to sail smoothly and navigate towards sustainable, sustaining our natural wealth. What kind of world do we want to live to those who come after us? To children who are now growing up, ask Pope Francis using the lenses of the same encyclical. Today, in the years to come, we respond to the daunting task in making the earth truly a home. To my fellow fisher folk, let us help our government by keeping our coastal habitat protected and sustainably utilized. Let us support our fishery program while being faithful to the laws and local policies that augment coastal measures in our pursuit for better production and environmental uh, preservation. Let us take head of the environmental crisis that continues to hunt as because of sheer apathy and personal interest resulting in environmental abuses which badly affect the poor. Let us take the step of empathy because progress entails sacrifices and unity. If our government fails, we also fail. If our government succeed, we also succeed. However, let us also be vigilant to the development that are offered. We don't just exist and be lavish with what the world can be rendered as, but take the proactive steps instead and see for ourselves what we can render to those who need us most. Let us not hook our destiny with a, we and, with a wish and means that our government has for us. We are capable of shaping our own. We break the silence of its dawn with noble purpose. Our is not a passive waiting for whatever the government can do for us. Ours is the call to be proactive and thus help our government achieve its goal for the common good. My fellow fisher folk, it is not our government leaders who have braved the waves and the storms to earn a good catch from the seas. While others just stand at the stretches of the coast, we find ourselves delving into deep because we are confronted with much deeper and greater responsibilities. This is where we earn a living. But beyond quenching these human needs is the vocation of give life to our natural resources, to see life from ridges to reef, and eventually bring life to our common home. To our family in the Ramon Magsaysay Award Foundation, I am deeply grateful that you have recognized, if I may say, the, co the, co the collaborative efforts that empowered poor fisher folk like us and to stick our initiative in a larger arena, which is now Gardner's Greater 
consciousness for the protection and conservation of our coastal environment. Thank you for making us realize that even the smallest effort that we exert for such advocacies are not futile and never stupid. Convinced that we shall reap more bountiful harvest, we are able to see that all these are appropriate actions, most valid ethical contribution that we can offer to our future generation. Let me take this chance to render my sincere appreciation to our community development workers on the ground who have always been my company even when the sale goes rough and perilous. To the local government unit of Kabasalan who has given support since 2001 in the protection of our municipal waters until now. The Office of the Municipal Agriculture, despite having the least fund allocation, never ceases to stir collaborative efforts with our fisher folk organization and for cementing our strong policy support in the integrated coastal resource management. To the provincial government of Sambuanga Sibugay, national government agencies like Department of Agrarian Reform, the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, the DABFAR or the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, the Department of Science and Technology, the Philippine National Police, and the Coast Guard for forcing us reach our potential and for supporting us in one way or another. To all our able partners who have been constant support, foremost to the Severe Agriculture Extension Service Foundation of EPIL that honed my skill and talent in community development and coastal resource management. To the various non-government organizations, namely the Forest Foundation Philippines or FTFCF, Condora, the Peace and Equity Foundation or PAF, the EDC, the Ishadra, Rare Philippines, Pakisama, Head Foundation that funded our mangrove reforestation projects, strengthened our association, developed our leaders, and provided us functional technical knowledge and skills. To the various academic institutions, the Ateneo de Sambuanga School of Medicine, Xavier University, Ateneo de Cagayan, Emission Awan, UP Manila for providing us scientific results as basis for our local legislation and ongoing programs. To my immediate community of Balongis, Concepcion Cabasalan, Sambuanga, Sibugay, the Kapunungan sa Gagmay Mangingisda sa Concepcion or KGMC, and the Coalition of the Municipal Fisher Folk Association in Sambuanga, Sibugay or CONFAS, for always believing in me, for tirelessly supporting me. To our local uh, church in the Diocese of Ipil, for raising me, raising in me profound consciousness to the faithful despite of our very poor condition, for mold molding my values since my youth to be a grateful a responsible steward of God's creation. <laughs> Lastly, and most importantly, I would like to thank my family, my parents, my siblings who raised me and 
taught me fulfill my responsibilities as a leader. To my wife, Rebecca, and my 11 children, who are my source of joy, and who give me strength and give light to the path I take every day. Let us see again, no matter how simple we are, we are capable of rising above our, our weaknesses, capable of choosing what is good, and ever capable of making a new start. May this crusade continue until we can achieve our goal of becoming successful and progressive Filipinos in the entire nation and to the whole of Asia and the world. Mabuhay mangingisdang Pilipino, damo gid nga salamat sa inyo tanan. <laughs>